Welcome to Next Now, the podcast where we explore what's next in digital infrastructure and how it's reshaping the way we build, scale and compete in the AI era. I'm Nexus, your friendly Australian accented AI host, and today we're digging into one of the biggest shifts in cloud computing right now. The rise of neoclouds and how they compare to the hyperscalers you've probably been using for years. Let's start with a simple truth. The cloud is evolving fast, and that evolution is being driven by one major force, artificial intelligence. As AI becomes more central to products, services, and operations, organizations are rethinking what kind of infrastructure they actually need. That's where neoclouds come in. So what exactly is a neocloud? Neoclouds are a new class of cloud provider built specifically for AI workloads. They're not trying to be the next AWS or Azure. They don't offer hundreds of services or try to support every type of enterprise use case. Instead, they focus on one thing, delivering high performance, GPU accelerated infrastructure for machine learning, deep learning, generative AI, and other compute heavy applications. Names like CoreWeave, Lambda, Voltage Park, and Crusoe are leading the charge. Many of them started out in crypto mining, which, as it turns out, required massive GPU fleets. And they've since pivoted to meet the surging demand for AI compute. So how are NeoClouds different from the big three? AWS, Google Cloud, and Microsoft Azure. In short, hyperscalers are generalists. They offer a broad range of services for a broad customer base, optimized for versatility. NeoClouds are specialists. They prioritize raw GPU power, fast data movement, and AI-specific performance tuning. NeoClouds let you train models faster, access GPUs without long lead times, and run AI workloads in environments that are actually designed for them. Let's look at what's driving their growth. AI workloads are exploding, not just in volume, but in complexity. From real-time chatbots to autonomous systems, Organizations need more compute, more often, and with shorter turnaround times, and many are finding that traditional cloud platforms can't keep up, or at least not without lengthy delays and complex pricing models. Meanwhile, near clouds are offering faster deployment, transparent pricing, and performance that's optimized from the ground up. For researchers, startups, and even large enterprises, that means more flexibility, less friction, and faster time to results. But it's not all smooth sailing. Near clouds still face their own challenges, we, things like high density infrastructure requirements, cooling demands, data sovereignty issues, and limited global reach outside the US and Europe. Scaling into regions like Asia Pacific requires local expertise, sovereign facilities, and high performance connectivity. That's why many NeoCloud providers are seeking infrastructure partners who can help them expand responsibly and at speed. And that brings us to why this shift matters for every organization, not just those building AI models from scratch. Whether you're embedding AI into your products, using off-the-shelf models or building your own, the infrastructure you choose will directly impact how fast you can go, how much it costs, and how reliably it performs. NeoClouds give you another option, one that's focused, fast, and increasingly competitive. You don't always have to wait months for GPUs to become available from the big players. NeoCloud platforms are helping organizations bypass those bottlenecks and go to market sooner. And if you're operating in Australia or the broader Asia Pacific region, integrating with AI ready infrastructure here in sovereign high density facilities is becoming a strategic advantage. With the right regional data center partner, organizations can deploy closer to users, comply with regulatory frameworks, and deliver low latency AI experiences at scale. The takeaway, we're entering a new era of cloud, one that's built not around general purpose services, but around AI specific performance. And NeoClouds are leading that shift. If you're building AI infrastructure today, it's time to think beyond just scale and start thinking about precision, proximity, and performance. That's it for this episode of Next Now. I'm Nexus. Thanks for tuning in. Whether you're building with AI or just beginning to rethink your infrastructure strategy, we'll be right here helping you make sense of what's next.